Have you recently completed pharmacy graduation? Congratulations! What now? The first thing any pharmacy graduate should do after graduating is, immediately start searching for jobs. It is important to act quickly, because the next six months after graduation are crucial, in your job search journey. You should aim to find job, within the next six months of graduating. And believe me, if you follow the steps I will show you in this video, you will be able to find a job easily, during this crucial period. Before moving ahead, just a quick disclaimer. This video was created based on my understanding of the pharmacovigilance field, and how things work in the, pharma IT sector. The primary objective of these video is to help, and guide pharmacy freshers, in getting the desired job, as quickly as possible. So. Learn what is useful, and discard what is not. Now, let's get straight into the video. After completing graduation in pharmacy, you will mostly have two job options. You can start a career in the pharmaceutical industry, which includes a variety of domains. Or, you can start a career in the pharma IT sector, which also includes a variety of domains. It is entirely up to a person, to make a decision, in which sector they want to start their career. However, before deciding on a sector, I would recommend you to consider, a few key points. Point number one. Perform a detailed investigation, of the sector you chose. Trust me, analysis of sectors, is the most important aspect. Because, the working styles, and work cultures in these two sectors are significantly different. Working in the pharmaceutical industry requires, an on-field work which requires physical effort. However, in the pharma IT sector, you have a, desk job, which requires you to sit, for long duration of time, analyze the benefits, and risk associated with each sector. Analyze the job's long-term sustainability, from your viewpoint. Analyze whether you can establish a work-life balance in the sector you chose, after a few years of professional experience. So on and so forth. One bonus point is. Just because your friends choosing some sector just don't blindly follow them. Perform your thorough analysis. Speak with people who are already working in the sector you want to enter. In today's video, I will concentrate on how to find a job as a fresher in pharma IT sector. And, as this channel is dedicated to pharmacovigilance domain, I will tell you how to get job easily as pharmacovigilance trainee. Basically, I will tell you about the 5 mistakes, that most of the new graduates make, when applying for jobs in the pharmacovigilance field. As a fresher, I too did, all of these mistakes. Mistake number 4, and 5 is very important, so don't miss them if you are serious in your job search journey. Now let's start with the, mistake number 1. There was no sufficient interview preparation. Before attending any interview for pharmacovigilance domain, it is important that you educate yourself with pharmacovigilance terminologies. You should be familiar with the concepts of pharmacovigilance. For example, for pharmacovigilance interview, you should be familiar with the key terms such as adverse drug reaction, adverse events, serious adverse events, SUSARs, and so on. Understanding of concepts behind all these terminologies are very important. Because, interviewer can ask you the difference between the any of above terms. So, once you understood, and grasped the concepts, you will have no trouble answering all of the tricky questions asked in the interviews around these topics. I have already created videos covering frequently asked topics in pharmacovigilance interviews. Those videos can be seen by, pressing the, I button, above. Also, if you want someone to explain all of these principles to you, with real life examples. I would like to introduce you to the platform, called, PharmaViz, which can better assist you in achieving career growth in the, pharma IT sector. Please visit the link in the description to land on this page. And also please note it's a paid service, but I guarantee you all, it's better, and less expensive than any other similar platform available in the market, nowadays.
Another thing to note is that this video is not sponsored by Farmaviz. If you have enjoyed the video so far, please show your support by giving this video a like, so this video can reach the largest possible audience. Also, do not forget to subscribe the channel if you haven't already. Now, let's move to mistake number 2. There is no preparation for the most frequently asked question, which is, tell me about yourself. This is a common question that every interviewer keeps asking to a freshers, irrespective of the domain. The purpose of asking this question is to understand your level of confidence. Are you tense or shivering while you speak? The interviewer will notice all of these behavioral indicators. On YouTube, you can find a variety of videos on how to respond to the question, tell me about yourself. So, be prepared on these points as well. Mistake number 3. Not confident enough. As we discussed in the previous point, confidence is essential when interacting with the interviewer. Look at the interviewer while answering the questions. And, be confident. Now the fourth key mistake is, there is a lack of English proficiency. Because, majority of the peoples in pharmacy field are not from the English background. I mean to say, majority of students not completed school education from English medium. For such individuals, it is important that you start practicing English speaking. Interact with your friends in English. Speak with someone who speaks English better than you. In my experience, after weeks of practice, you can gain confidence in English speaking. Now the fifth and very important mistake is, no proper resume. This is a major blunder that almost every fresher makes, so pay close attention. It's very much important that you should create proper resume. Your resume is your first impression to the interviewer and represents whether or not you are a good candidate for the open position. As we all know, nowadays, competition is very high. So interviewer have so many resumes to go through in order to screen the candidates for the interview. Because, if any company have 100 vacancies for freshers, they already have 1000 plus resumes with them. So obviously, they need to screen the resumes to cut short the candidate up to 200 or 300. And, while screening the resumes, they probably give only few seconds, like 20 to 30 seconds, to your resume. In this case, it's very important to include the key points relevant to the domain you are applying for in your resume. You just have 20 to 30 seconds to convince the interviewer that you are worthy of an interview call. So that's it for today. And best of luck with your job search. Please leave a comment below if you want me to create a video on how to create a good resume. If you want to start a career in pharmacovigilance, the left playlist, which will appear at any time now on the screen, is very useful. And, if you want to know what all fields you can apply for after graduating from pharmacy, the video on right side is very helpful. Don't forget to check out the description section for useful links. See you soon in next video.